welcome back to my channel. This week I'm going to go over how to send and schedule reports, dashboards, and bookmarks. All right, what I'm going to demonstrate today will apply for dashboards, bookmarks, and reports. When you're looking at any one of those things, you can always click send at the top and you have an op some options for sending your dashboard, bookmark, report, whatever, immediately and you have a number of options in terms of what format they are. I'll uh, caveat with dashboards, I believe PDF is the only option there. And then depending on the report you're trying to send or the bookmark, uh, these options may or may not be the same each report. Some reports have limitations in terms of uh, what format they can be sent in. Uh, besides that, you can have your email address or you can add additional email addresses. You can just, you know, uh, with a comma, separate them out. And so between each email address, and you can send this to as many email addresses as you like, but it is a, it's a rather small box, so keep that in mind. And then um, here we have a publishing list that we can add. Um, I have mentioned this before that I will do publishing lists uh, in the future as a separate um, tutorial, but you can create a publishing list and in that publishing list basically you have a number of folks email addresses there. So if you're sending it out to a specific group of people, all you can all you have to do uh, for that is just to send it to that uh, publishing list and, and leave it at that. So it's actually quite easy if you're going to routinely send um, groups, the same group of people reports uh, to set up a publishing list, but uh, more on that in the future. Um, and then of course you can always edit your subject line and then you have here some quick scheduling options uh, as well. You don't have a lot of flexibility here, but you do have some quick ske scheduling options if you're uh, fine with the kind of the defaults in terms of these uh, options that are shown here. Uh, besides that, you can also go into the advanced delivery options. So we'll go ahead and take a look at this. And at the top here, so we're in the report options now, and then we can either keep the report file name by default, which is a page views report, or you can go into custom and you can customize it. So you can go in here and change that, and then you can also append the report date, na uh, date range to the file name as well if you want to, um, or you can just leave it at default. Uh, then you have all the formats here. Again, it depends on what you are sending. If it's a dashboard, PDF will be the only option, etc. Um, but you have two additional options here. So if you are sending a PDF, but you want to have embedded HTML of the report, or I believe even the dashboard at this point, um, you can select that and it will actually do an embedded HTML version of what you're sending. And that way uh, it'll be embedded in the email uh, visually as well as having the attachment. And then you can also add uh, an attachment of the report as a zip file. All right, then from here uh, with the report contents, uh, you can actually increase the number of rows in the table. Default is 50. Uh, you can actually only show five if you want, or I believe the max number is 200. Uh, so if you have anything much beyond 200, it won't include that, and you're going to have to use the data extract uh, option uh, instead to get more than 200 rows. And then for the header uh, and footer language uh, that displays, especially if you're doing the HTML version of the report, but also just what's, what's in the uh, email itself, uh, you can actually change which language uh, is being displayed. And then uh, you can actually add some comments. So when you're sending this to other people, you can add some comment, comments for them to read uh, when they receive the report. Uh, you can also add a digital signature file. You can send it as an email, or you can even FTP it. Uh, and here, if you select FTP, here is your options for F sending as an FTP. So that, uh, you know, some organizations, they really like to have a central repository for these reports and being able to have a bunch of different people have access to the reports without having to fill up their uh, inboxes in their email. So that uh, is given to you as an option as well. And that's sort of the standard send options down here. Then for scheduling options, we go back to the top and click on that. And you can either just support now, which is the default, or you can do schedule for later. Now here you have a lot more flexibility in terms of the scheduling than you did with the, the quick uh, scheduling that you could do from within the interface itself. 
where you can do uh, rolling date options or fixed date options. Uh, you can uh, say how often you want it, but you know not only do you can you do da monthly, daily, weekly, but you can actually say uh, what day of the week. If it's uh, daily, you know every one day, um, every weekday, etc. Uh, starting from what date, starting the time of day. Keep in mind that the time of day is the time that the report starts being generated and not when it emails. And so, especially if it's a very large dashboard that takes time uh, to generate and put together, uh, it may take an hour or two, uh, depending on if it's the first of the month, sometimes servers are slow, etc. So I would always schedule these at least an hour or two before you want your people uh, to receive the reports. Um, Usually people like to get them first thing in the morning, so I tend to always, like, I think it defaults at 3 a.m., and I think that's a good time. Uh, that way, if you have people come in at 6 a.m. or 5 a.m., you know, early risers, etc., that they will always have it in their inbox first thing in the morning. And then your delivery options for um, if you want it to never end, you want it to end after so many occurrences, or to end on a specific date, especially if it's um, a campaign or something like that where uh, there's not going to be any data after a certain date, um, then that's when uh, this particular uh, end on becomes handy. Um, and then once you have all of that set up the way you want to, you just click on schedule and you will schedule your uh, report, uh, etc. to go out. And that pretty much covers how to send or to schedule a report dashboard or bookmark. So thank you very much for joining me and until next week, take care.